as numerous Africans in the diaspora are now beginning to see the need to develop a motherland, one stands out in a unique way. And as such, we tend to ask him this question. Is, Is Akon actually, actually normal? normal? On today's show, I'm Jaquette Tolu and it's Cetro, and I always have my funny husband. This is Dal Cetro, the most handsome, yekebo African husband. Okay, you always welcome back to Cetro's vlog family. If you're not a part of this family, please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of our latest video. And want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, tweeting. Please don't stop. And a big thank you goes to our patrons on this channel. And you can also be part of this patrons for as low as $3. Today's uh, show is actually a mind-blowing word. You know what? One of the reasons why we said is Akon actually normal is because we sat down, we look at all the people that are in this sphere of influence. A lot of them that are outside the continent of Africa, immediately they get out of the shores of Africa and things are very, very okay with them. Every normal or most normal Africans, we do what? We start spending their money on Gucci, pay, uh, buying uh, crystal diamonds, spending a whole lot, but we saw something in Akon that is so, so, so super abnormal. He has the flow of African in his blood that continues to rumble his mindset that he had to come back to Africa in the year 2014 to come and set up what we call the Akon Lighting Africa. And by the way, who is Akon? Akon is a Senegalese musician that is based in America and is really doing great. He has great influence. He's really, his music is really making waves and he has money and he's decided to reinvest this money back into the motherland. He came back to Africa and started doing wonderful things. And unlike his counterpart, I would have rather spent such money buying castle in different countries of the world and buying shoes that can actually uh, take men out of poverty in Africa. This young man decided that all his hand-earned money is going to be used to what? To uplift the motherland and the populace of Africa. Still, 600 million people in Africa lack access to electricity and live in quasi-total obscurity when the sun sets. The Akon Lighting Africa program brings answers to that problem. Our solution? Equip millions of households in Africa with tailored solar energy systems through public-private partnerships. As an African, I always wanted to be in a position where I come back and give back and be able to use, use my celebrity, use my success in a way that I can help people. The Akon Lighting Africa team has already installed in 11 countries and counting two types of solar panels designed to meet the needs of populations. Solar streetlights for public lighting and a home service system that is prepaid for household use. First, the benefits of public lighting, which are numerous. Women can now sell their products at night without feeling threatened. Remote places like villages and islands can now enjoy social activities at night. People can now wander around safely. Ça change vraiment notre, notre solidarité. Parce que si on n'avait pas de ce panneau solaire, à 19h, chacun se retrouvait là, là où se coucher. Car accidents and criminality on the roads have plummeted where solar lights have been installed. Public places such as mosques and hospitals are no longer in the darkness. Vous savez, l'obscurité, c'est l'insécurité. C'est dans un quartier isolé comme ça. Donc, euh, depuis qu'il y a eu le panneau, il y a eu une, un peu plus d'affluence au sein de la mosquée. Tu as le moyen même de consulter les malades sans faire recours à la torche. Donc, ça nous permet une amélioration de la santé de la population. Second, for personal use, a prepaid home service system is a game changer for populations who used to live in the darkness. The benefits? Children can now study at night and prepare for a brighter future. Je m'appelle Fatima Tadjou. J'habite à Kiambo. Je fais le classe de Shinkim. Plus tard, je veux être médecin. People can access information through the radio, TV, and computers, now opening up windows to the world. Bon, maintenant, c'est avec l'ordinateur. Mes enfants sont à l'aise parce que ça les permet vraiment de s'initier à la manipulation même de l'ordinateur. 
There is no need anymore to walk miles and pay to charge cell phones. Unlike kerosene or wood, this energy is sustainable, clean, cheaper, and saves people from fire hazards. I'm saving 50000 every week compared to the generator that I've been using. Shopkeepers, tradesmen, cooks, and small businesses can expand their activities and revenues. The 6 heures du matin, jusqu'à 0 heures. Avec le lamp, on peut faire ça. C'est le mieux. On top of all that, the Acon Lighting Africa program creates thousands of direct and indirect jobs through trainings, solar panel installations, and maintenance. Beyond access to electricity, this project is about economic empowerment and ultimately inclusive growth for the continent. The Akon Lighting Africa mission is to prepare a brighter future for children and the African continent. Can you see the smiles on the faces of those women that said they could actually sell at night right now? I remember when we went to Dubai. At Dubai then, uh, 2, 2 a.m. was just like... 8 p.m. in Nigeria because we could we still went out, we bought chicken, we bought this, we bought that, and their market was really growing. You heard that woman said we can actually sell at night without fear right now. That's growing the economy. And and before we could say Jack Robinson, the same guy had to come back to Africa. This time he's not even talking about lightning, he's coming with a complex mindset that makes him to be out of the branch of people we can call normal. Acorn is not an ordinarily normal human being. He's thinking without to the box, not even outside the box now, because he doesn't need the box for him to think out. He's using his brain, he's using his passion to develop Mother Africa. And that is why he came back and said what? This time around, instead of getting mansions all over the world, he's coming back to Senegal to set up what? Akon City. Akon City. Is that... <laughs> the city is going to be called Akon. <laughs> so it's, it's the Akon. And it's like a new, like it's a future city. Like yeah. everything's ran on like futuristic stuff, it's, right? It's all renewable. The Akon Solar Tainment City is all renewable. Yeah, a real physical place. It's going to have a real airport. Uh, <laughs> like <it's... laughs> you, you got an Acon and you have your own city. That's right. How, and when will Akon City be be complete? Uh, well, it's a, it's a 10-year uh building block so we're doing it in stages we started construction in march right and stage two is going to be 2025 and where is it where's the city located it's in senegal senegal west africa and when you talk of acorn city you, this is a city that is next to none in africa because this is the first time you have a city that is what powered by renewable energy and apart from that the currency spent there is cryptocurrency digital currency and it's planning on needs it's called a coin Seen that from the video prior to this he had already uh, made uh, 11 to 14 countries benefit from this solar energy since 2014 and just march 2019 he just decided that i'm going to do a mind-blowing thing that the whole world he said he's going to be competing like in 50 to 100 years to come the the deadline is actually uh they are to roll it out for a decade like 10 years this time march 2019 so but actually he intends extending it to other african countries if it works and that's going to take a period of like 50 to 100 years and he's not even thinking of seeing the finishing in its own lifetime but he said he's going to be competing with the likes of dubai he said he hopes that it will be able to compete with the likes of dubai and if there is anything that touches me it was when he opened his mouth and said 
he might not be alive to see the end, to see the finishing of that great city. That is to tell you that these are the kind of leadership style we want from our what? Our African rulers, in which all that interest you is not what about is not about what goes into your pocket but what goes into the life of the generations yet unborn this guy is really thinking without the box and does it it's really a touching one unlike those that will buy debts for their generations and that is why we are calling on you africans in diaspora this is time for us to think well and think of coming back to motherland to invest build and sustain a growth that you can fall back to, that your generation unborn will live with your name engraving in their heart and mind. Just with the right mind. He's not thinking of this with his own money because his own money alone, you can see from the, the clip, it's connecting, connecting, connecting. And when there is integrity and transparency, that this will lead us to another video you'll be seeing very soon from us. As in let me not. The, we have to reawaken the giants in us as Africans. Without Our mindset. Okay. Continue. And that is the greatest giant we have. It's our mindset. And without talking too much, all we can say is that Africans in diaspora think of the next generation. Are you going to be remembered, or you are going to be forgotten, just like the way you spend whatever comes your way? I hope not. Okay, and that's the show today. It's really a touching, a mind blowing one, whatever you want to say. So let's have your comments on this. Let's have your view. Please try, let's loud this. Okay, continue. Let's loud this, please. Let's loud this. This is Africans for Africans. Let's loud it. Try to tweet, retweet, and comment, share, like, and let, let it go viral so that the necessary help to finish this is, is gotten. And we all can have a safe. This is one of the ways we can support Akon by louding videos such like as this so that more people can buy into his vision and support him to build that one and only expected Akon City. A tourist attraction for yes. the world to come to Africa. And that's it on the uh, and that's it on today's show. We love you. Keep safe, keep calm, and keep enjoying yourself. Listen to coronavirus music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so till we come away in the next video, catch you. Bye-bye. It's your year of coronation. Corona no fit stop the nation. It's your year of coronation. Corona no fit stop the nation. It's your year of coronation. Corona no fit stop the nation. Hey.